This server is sponsored by Court Servers. Links in the description below. What is up, guys? Me luck here, and today we are back in action on the Feed the Beast Monster server. I'm here with my buddy, the German guy. What's up? So the right before you start talking, uh, I have my sounds on. The pig went oink. So the viewer says oink. What's up, guys? <laughs> it, was just, uh, it was just funny. It was yeah. timed well. Yeah, I I'm now a pig. <laughs> yes. Um, so we are actually, so I, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of backstory here. Me and German, uh, why is there a timer here? Uh, okay. Well, I'll explain that here in a second. <laughs> so <Okay. laughs> there, there's a lot of stuff I need to explain here. Uh, I've been on the server kind of just playing with stuff and doing stuff. I also watched a couple videos recently. Um, so me and German actually, whenever the, the, the first time monster updated with the new big reactors mod with the turbines and stuff, we actually did an episode on it. And we failed miserably because there's a few key things that I, I didn't realize at the time. Um, so we ended up scrapping the episode so you guys never saw it. Well, today we're going to do big reactors again. So, yeah. uh, well, first time for you guys, uh, second time for us. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, okay, I'm going to explain what this is real quick since you asked. Um, so I was watching Bevo's video. Uh, mm -hmm. that he's a guy that I've uh, been watching for like maybe five, six months now. I watch every once in a while, maybe one video a month or so, just to kind of see. Because uh, he does a lot of uh, tech news and he does mod spotlights and stuff, and he's pretty good at it. I actually like mm -hmm. watching him better than Dire Wolf or whatever. He's really uh, upbeat about stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't watch him that often, but I decided to check out a couple of his videos and he's actually doing agrarian skies and I watched him do big reactors. And then he did all kinds of stuff in that video. First of all, you know how applied energistics, we know about this for a while. You know how it like stops doing the whole crafting thing and then we have to sometimes delete the controller and place it back. Yeah. Well, you know also how you, every time we place a block on the ME, it like does the little flashing thing. Yeah. That's actually the ME resetting. So what I did was I made this a dark cable. So this timer set for a minute. Every minute it lights up this dark cable and resets the uh, the ME. Oh, okay. So yeah, it, I've seen it flashed a couple times here. Yeah. Now. So every minute it just resets the ME, and it doesn't it doesn't kill any processes it was doing previously. It just kind of uh, refreshes the system a little bit. And I see it didn't disconnect my power glove, so that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> um. um yeah, I always like move the controller, and you have to do that like every single time. It's yeah, get tired of your shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so um, actually, I added a because we needed the magma cream, right? I actually added a uh, a, a well, well, yeah, I added a magma cream uh, recipe, but I also added a magical crops uh, slime farm up there because we didn't actually have that much slime. But oh. uh, if you look in here, you can see like magma magma cream or. Uh, or uh, slime balls. I mean, you can see craft slime balls. So it's just crafting the slime balls. Uh, couldn't isn't there a magical crop just for magma cream in general? Uh, there probably is. I don't know. I didn't. Yeah, really, I didn't yeah, really there think. Is. is there? Yeah, I remember seeing it yesterday when I was looking at how to make magma cream. Uh, well, we have plenty of slots. We could we could do that. Uh, actually, how about you look that up real quick? Let me do magma cream seeds. No, I don't think there is a magma. No. Yeah, there definitely is. I saw it. Is there? Are you sure? For some yes. reason, I don't believe you. I don't know why. I just don't. You're uh, a tricky it, little bastard. Like yeah, that. magma cube essence. Oh, okay. Well, how about you tell it to make uh, 40 of those? Or ME system. How do I... Well, yeah, yeah you got to teach the recipe. Um, uh, it doesn't... When I click on magma cube essence, it doesn't show oh, me. Oh, not, not essence. Uh, you need the magma seeds or whatever. That's oh, what, that's why. Yeah, yeah. You need the seeds, so. and then we'll we'll craft it like 40 seeds and put them up there, and then we'll teach this guy. Okay. Um, honestly, actually, you don't really have to do that right now. We can just do it later. Afterwards. I mean, it's already done pretty much. So. Oh, okay. Uh, and then it'll it'll craft that. We should have plenty of uh, extreme essences and stuff in there. I don't know if it requires extreme essences. Is there any special page these go on? Or uh, It doesn't matter. It just... just. Are we on page 19? I n no. Oh, no. Oh, okay. There's a couple blank spots in, on some of the pages, but for the most part, I try to keep each of the pages kind of like to a different mod, but it doesn't always work out like that. Yeah. I try to keep it kind of clean. Um, so yeah, this this little thing just resets the system. I don't know if the interface is required, but I'm assuming it just has to connect to something, or it might not work necessarily. Right. So I could put anything there really, um, but the you know interface is just uh, just a thing, and it's a nice. It's a block that you know looks nice. So, um, but yeah, okay. So that's that. 
Um, I actually, someone gave me an amazing comment. I didn't really understand Rotary Craft and how it kind of worked up until mm -hmm. this guy commented. So thank you very much. You'll know who you are as soon as I explain here in a second. Oh, uh, well, you couldn't take that to remember his name. Um, well, I looked at the comment a couple days ago, so... Um, I, I guess I could have looked back right before the video. Yeah, you could have. I, I just didn't really think about it. I just not could have. It just it just came back to the top of my head just now. I'm just giving you a hard time. <laughs> it's we, we we love you guys, but it's so hard to keep track of names sometimes. So. Um, and plus I'm a horrible person with name. I'm a good visual. I'm, I'm a visual memory person. I'm not really well. I take that back. I read a lot of books, and I usually remember almost everything in the books. So um, okay, so you're just an asshole. All yeah, right. I'm just an so asshole. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um. Okay, so it's making uh, magma seed, so it looks like it needs strong essences, so it doesn't even need extreme. Okay, cool, so come over here real quick. And so so every machine has a torque and speed requirement, right? Right. Well, as long as – see, I didn't, I didn't realize this. As long as you meet the minimum torque requirement, any extra torque is just useless. Torque, extra torque doesn't do anything. So once you meet the minimum torque requirement, you can put the speed up to a billion, as high as you want, mm -hmm. and it makes the machine go faster. Mm -hmm. So what what I've pretty much done here is I haven't fully converted everything, but I, as you guys see, I've moved from stuff from there to here. So these mm -hmm. guys, if you highlight over them, they now have an operation time of point or point zero five seconds, and that's oh, wow. <clears throat> yeah, that's all of these machines right here. So let, let's. I'm gonna take some netherrack here, some, and I'm gonna give you a stack here, and then I want you to just take take the right uh, grind right here and just throw your netherrack in. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I have our level emitters here set to uh, keep uh, 2048 tar on hand and keep 2048 netherrack dust on hand and it does them almost instantly because before yeah. before like we only had like 200 and it's been like five days or yeah it was, i was i was starting to wonder like what's the point of this shit if it's so crappy yeah. um yeah. and then we actually finished this system so uh this you know obviously i have one of these one of these are making um like uh sludge and one of these are making yeast mm -hmm. well for some reason the whole thing that makes the sludge it can't be automated I don't know why. I've tried from every single direction with an export bus. Yeah, he's plugged into every orifice, guys. A every every single side. I've tried the left side, the right side, the bottom, uh, the top, the front, the back. Um, well, not the back because that's sounds what like you had a good time with it. Yeah, yeah, dude. I I was I was going from all directions, man. And I I mean sometimes I would swivel to the left and then I would go back over to the right. It's my signature meaty move. Mm. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay so now we're okay uh yeah. <laughs> swivel, huh? yeah it's called the swivel bro i mean it's mm. it's the a meaty thing. swivel it works good the meaty <laughs> swivel did you give her the meaty swivel yeah the meat swivel. that's what i call it for short meat swivel <laughs> hashtag meat swivel um, anyways actually that's going to be the word meat swivel meat swivel yes. not swivel yes. meat swivel so I know it's early in the video, but hey, we can put this at any point. Um, also, uh, if you guys want to, you know, smash the crap out of the like button, let's set a goal for 250 likes. That'd be freaking amazing. Yeah. We, know, we know you guys do. Some So I, the last couple of videos, you guys haven't quite reached it, but that could probably be our, well, my, maybe our fault for maybe not doing as awesome projects as what we normally do. So, but yeah, yeah, this project. Yeah, we'll should, blame ourselves for now. Yeah. Well, yeah, for now. <laughs> for now. Um, yeah, pay attention. Um, so yeah, yeah, this is making sludge, this is making yeast, and then, uh, um, uh, this is making ethanol. So I have export buses near, they're kind of really unreliable of keeping this filled, but this is making rocket fuel. And then I do have the speed, the operation time is eight point set or eight seconds, but it, that's lower than what it was before. I still need to boost up the speed on it. Um, so does it only need this one gas tear? Yeah, it only needs one that it never needs another. That, okay. Yeah, the gas so it's like. It like filters the fuel through the tears of guests. Yeah, through the tears of dead baby souls. Um, well, see, that's how you make rocket fuel. Fuel you yeah. filter it through the tears so, of creatures. Yeah, if you look right here. Well, how have... come this thing's lit up now? Uh, I don't know, dude. The extra utility is weird. Uh, you see, we have seven kilobuckets of fuel. Also, I got rid of all of our steam because if you guys ever wondered why we had like seven hundred thousand uh, millibuckets or kilobuckets of steam, that was because of the. The turbine thing we did, and that took like five minutes to create. So they created a crap ton of steam. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I got rid of it. It took forever. Um, okay, so yeah, uh, turbines. 
Turbines. Turbines. Okay. Turbines. So, so in here, turbines. In here I, I told to craft like 300 turbine glass. Hopefully it made all of those. So you need turbine glass, and we're just going to work on one. And once we finish one, we'll kind of... Damn we'll, it, dude. It reset while I was using it. Hmm. Yeah, that might... Maybe I could I could bump up the timer here. Let's see. Let's put it on... What? Well, two minutes. There we go. Two minutes is fine. Um, I feel glass. Um, okay, so big reactor. So for big reactor... Ow, 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 what the fuck? We're There's a try here. It just withered me. <laughs> uh, we're going to okay. need... How'd that get here? Four. Then we're going to need four of these. Oh, and one thing I didn't actually prepare beforehand to craft was we need in endearium blocks, which is going to be uh Oh it's so endearium. Yeah. Mm. Eight. Yeah. And then we need uh let's grab Gosh darn ball sacks. Hmm. I'm gonna grab so three, so twelve. Yeah, we'll grab twelve of these. Okay, so we should. I should have everything. Well, actually, no. I need the the shafts. Uh, shaft. Yeah, shaft. Jinx. Uh, not the shaft. Uh, turbine. I'm gonna shaft. need this. I'm gonna need one, two, three, four. Two hundred fifty-six blades. Okay, why did something just pop up and say turbine requires one rotor? Uh, because it does require one rotor. I know. So, why did that pop up on the screen? Uh, I have no idea. Because it needs a rotor. Uh, why would it tell me? Uh, why is it speaking to me? I don't know, man. Like, why are you going to be so harsh? Is it because I'm inside of it? Uh, yes. That is exactly the reason. Yeah, it's telling me again. Um, so, for effect, I filled in the walls with uh, basalts, and then that way we can make this out of glass, which is cheaper. And then I also put some lights, even though the lights don't necessarily go through, the, um, the light doesn't pass through, it's still fine. Um, you can use a builder's one for that, by the way. We do have builder's one ones. Um, am I leaving it blank with these autonomous activators? Are? Uh, no. Just put them right there. That's fine. Why? Why are the activators there? Uh, because that's where the stuff that makes the dust goes. Yeah. Uh, the <laughs> the bedrock dust. They remember they, they. Oh, there's a giant freaking rod in here. All of a sudden. I know. I just put that there, bro. Oh. I already. Okay. So endearium. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, man. You just hired me to place a glass. There's just some rod in here freaking me out. Oh, we're going to need more glass, by the way. Oh, uh, yeah, and this is going to take forever to get all the endearium ingots we need. Um, I didn't even think about this. Yeah, this is going to take a while. So we're probably going to have to pause it and then come back here in a second. Um, we'll go ahead and do some of this stuff. Um, so I'll explain, I guess, the math on this after we kind of get this. Uh, so... At you, you need a shaft. Oh, hmm. Shaft. <laughs> we're children, dude. We're, trying we're, to tell you're trying to. T I think we're, you're trying to tell your viewers something. Uh, it's everything we've been doing lately has to do with shafts. I know, dude. Feed the beast is just. It just feeds Full the beast. Shafts? It just feed the beast shaft. That's all this mod pack is. Feed the beast shaft. Everything you do deals with shafts. Um, hashtag shafts. Um, so, uh, for the big reactors, you need turbine rotor bearings, and then you need to put these uh, rotor shafts all the way to the end here. Uh, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter how many blades you have on it. And then for this setup, I'm going to use, uh, let's see, how do we want to do this? Uh, I'm going to use 64 blades. So, it's going to be pretty fancy. Um, and this, this is actually going to be a slow, a slow moving turbine instead of a high speed turbine. Um, but it's going to produce us a ridiculous amount of power. And when I say ridiculous, I mean ridiculous. Like, you think the, the big reactors we have now produce power? No. No. Really? <laughs> no. No. This, this, this is fascinating. This is... Yes. 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 We're the biggest children I think you'll ever meet. So that's what makes us fun to be around. That's what yeah. makes your mom fun to be around. It is. Actually, same goes for my mom, too. So, yeah. yeah. Fun moms for the win. Mother's Day. Uh, it's actually Mother's Day today. Yeah. It won't be when you're watching the video, though. No, actually. Hopefully, hopefully you did something wonderful. Uh, this will be two days after Mother's Day. So if yeah. you guys have not said Happy Mother's Day yet, then you're, you're a terrible child. You're a terrible <laughs> child. 
Um, or your mother is a terrible mother and you have an excuse. So. Um, yes. Because yeah. um, I know that exists. Now we're course. reaching into dark territory. Um, Whatever, dude. That's life, man. Life's uh, dark. Um, so, yeah, here's all the rotor blades, and they're going to look really fancy once this your forms freaking out. rotor blades are, like, in the way of me placing glass. Well, right? I'm sorry that you're so slow with placing glass that it's stupid. I'm sorry you didn't make enough glass and I had to go make more. I'm sorry that you're stupid. I'm sorry that you're a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, is this crafting stuff? Uh, why is it making that many glass? Because we need to film two of these, don't we? No, we need to fill in four of them. There's four of these things? <laughs> yeah, dude. I said we're going to... Oh, my God. Yeah, okay. Then why are you asking how much glass? This alone took over 300 glass. What? No yes. way. Glass. Yes. Uh... Yeah, 300, and I've used two more stacks of 64, so another 128, and I still need more. Okay, so we're well, gonna need like fourteen billion glass, okay? Okay. I did the uh, math right uh, there. Okay. That is the Not math. Fourteen. Okay. I told it to cut <laughs> fourteen billion. You might be here for the next couple of years, but it'll happen eventually. Uh, yeah, and we're gonna have to wait for the endirium endirium ingots here too. Um, let's see, endirium ingots. So, uh, so the way this Lock works. Lock is not valid for use in this machine. What? I don't know. It's talking to me again. Okay, okay. So the the blades, <laughs> the blades, they the blades have steam pass over them, which causes. Uh, is there a bouncing pig in the middle of our base for you? Because there's yeah, a bouncing pig. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. I've been seeing it the past couple of days. Uh, it's like the ghost <laughs> of Harry or something. I don't know. It's <laughs> the ghost of meat sauce. That's what it is. Oh. Uh, um. Oh wow! He haunts us all the way here. Huh? Yeah, no. This, this, we're really far away, dude. This is like a different land. Magical land, and he's still following us. Magically appeared on Charlie. Magically appeared on Charlie. Um. Yeah, dude, this is like six hundred glass, dude, for one. <laughs> okay, that's exaggerate. Actually, it probably isn't. Let's see. One was it? I, I had three hundred and what? Three fifty. Oh, what did it start well, with? Well, we we could do the math here. Each. And, of the... Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, no. That would take longer. I don't feel like it's a. Okay, huge. how much was it? It was like three twenty. Yeah, three twenty. Yeah. And then plus another hundred and twenty-eight. So we'll just say five hundred glass. And yeah. then another hundred and twenty-eight. Okay, so we'll say six hundred glass. Yeah. And then I plus, was expecting plus you to fourteen. Say, okay, so we'll say nine hundred glass. <laughs> Whoa, it's <laughs> exponentially growing now. Okay, we'll say you know like five thousand glass. No big deal per thing. I'm not worried about it. Um, okay, so Endirian blocks, uh, these, like, store the energy, kind of? Like, these are what produces the energy, so the energy kind of, like, these are, like, conductors. And Endirian mm -hmm. blocks are the best conducting material that goes in these guys. So, uh... Oh, it's speaking to me again. You trapped me, bro. No, I didn't. Oh. It's open up here. Oh. What? Oh, God. Um... Okay, so I think we're gonna we're we're gonna have to wait for all the endirium to craft, and then uh, we're probably gonna go ahead and fill in the glass and all the other ones. And I think we will be right back. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're back and uh, about to do some more cool stuff. So it has been making a lot of endirium blocks. I it's been a long time, and uh, long time. I have quite a few on me. Yes. <clears throat> um, and uh, yeah. So let's let's go ahead and finish this one. Um, as you see. German has already done all the glass and all these other ones. Uh, we haven't done anything else besides that, though. Mostly cool. just wait on the Endirian blocks. So these guys kind of, like, transfer power. Um, and uh, they're, they, they're kind of like, they, they conduct the best, pretty much. You're invisible. That's, oh, I? there you are. I see you now. That was no. weird. Uh, so these are the best things to use if you're using a lot of power. Um, and that kind of cool stuff. And you're going to be amazed on how efficient these guys are because... Like, our things already don't, like, our 7x7 seven seven designs don't really use that much fuel. Mm -hmm. But we're going to be able to run all four of these on one of the tiny little 7x7. Seven seven, and it's going to blow your mind about how much power these guys actually produce. Now, I don't know how much they're going to produce uh, in Feed the Beast because all the multipliers are a little bit different. But, um, mm -hmm. yeah, so, but we're, gonna, we're about to find out. So I think these are actually 11x11x14s. 11 by 11 by I think that's their size. Mm -hmm. And then there's 64 blades right here, and then uh, it's uh, four deep, four blades tall in each direction, 
And then we have, uh, I think, one, two, three, seven Enderian blocks deep right there, just in case you guys want to know the stats on it. Um, there you go. Um, so now we're going to... So it's formed up. That means everything's working fine. Yeah. So let's add a... I see. I have. I don't know exactly... Oh, oh, there we go. So I don't know exactly how we're going to uh, do all the wiring and stuff. I haven't really thought that far ahead. But um, we need a controller just like all the other stuff. Yeah. And then we need uh, a couple fluid ports. So I'm going to put the fluid ports uh, on this side. And then, let's see. Oh, what? That. What? <laughs> I was wondering what you were doing. I was like, um. Yeah, break some glasses. Yeah, I did. I did on my screen. I did. Mm. And then mm. we're going to change one of them to output mo or input and output. There we go. And then we're going to use. I don't know. I don't how think you did that either. No, I did it on my screen, so it's fine. I'm going to break these pieces of glass over here. Did I break those? Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to put two power ports. So another neat trick I learned. Okay, so you know, you remember how we were always under the assumption that um, redstone conduits can only transfer ten thousand RF a tick. Yeah. Not true. So they can actually transfer. <sighs> Mind blown. They can actually transfer an infinite amount of RF, right? What? But the reason we were under the assumption that they can only do ten thousand uh, per thing is because each connection, just like just like the cubes here, each connection has a max uh, in and out flow. So each hmm. connection can only do, uh, can only uh, transfer ten thousand RF a tick. But for example, if you have five connections on something that produces fifty thousand uh, RF a tick, they're each going to transfer ten thousand, and then the whole line is actually going to transfer the whole fifty thousand. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that's another trick I learned from uh, Bevo. Uh, so uh, yeah, he knows who I am, but um, we haven't really talked much. But he's a cool guy. Uh, so. Yeah, so so we so we got this now. Um, before we set up all the other ones, I say we go ahead and get the steam rolling. So can you go up and find a bunch of tesseracts? Okay. Look in the thermal expansion chest, and if it doesn't have any there, then like tell it to make a bunch. And by no, there's a bunch in here. Is there? Okay. How many do we need? Uh, let's see. So we need two, four, six, eight, twelve. Make. It, make sure we have 15. That's probably a good number. 15 total. So whatever's in the chest, just minus that from the 15. Um, so now I'm trying to figure out which one do we actually want to convert to the steam one. Probably probably this guy right here. Yeah, we'll, we'll convert this guy. Um, we're going to keep these smaller ones just as like, because uh, they look cool as pillars, as like power pillars. Um. Yeah, we'll just we'll, we'll just keep those there. That's fine. I mean, because but we could run all of these just off, off one of this guy, one of these guys. Um. <clears throat> so now we are going to. Uh, uh, okay, so I'm gonna look up. So we need. Uh, reactor coolant port. Yes, we need. I I, I swear, dude, it's like your trains. Yeah, it's been completely quiet. And then now there's kids screaming outside. Mm -hmm. So we actually need reactor coolant ports. So I'm going to make uh, three of these guys. Yeah. Also, by the way, um, the reason we have so much cyanide is because all of the turbine stuff actually requires cyanide to make. So you actually have to have a normal reactor running. And they require a lot of cyanide. So you're going to have to have uh, either a lot of reactors or a big reactor or just let it run for a long time to get enough cyanide to make all this stuff. Because I think we just now used like a thousand cyanide to make. Actually, no, probably like a lot more than that. Actually, I don't know. We we, wow. we, we used a lot. Wow. Um. So let's see. Uh, reactor. Das is wow. We have three reactor coolant ports. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So it, I think. Is it awesome? Oh, yes. It, 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 oh. Oh. Wow. This is gonna be bad. Um. So remember, we we actually did this before. Uh, <laughs> where we're trying to like get the uh, the things. Oh yeah. Here, like, give me a sec. I'm gonna just place this guy right here. I'm gonna. Uh, no, I'm gonna place this guy. Oh, 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 oh. Place this guy right here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do. Let's see. 
outlet mode one two and then I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do another one there we go I don't think we need the second one but we want um, this is in and then I think we want uh, yeah, we want two ins and one out I think sure. okay uh, so can you take can you take two test racks Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Um, test racks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, d d we're just gonna we're gonna test this right now. Place one on the red, one on one of the blues, and then make make a. Uh, wow, child. Blue is that's in, hard. so that's going to be water. So make the right one here. A make a water, a water frequency, and then make the left one a, a steam frequency. And then the steam is going to send, and then the water is going to receive over here. So, uh, are you doing that, or am I doing that? Yeah, I said, I said, told you to do it. Can you, um, does the other test racks up here? Or do you have them all on you? I'm all on me. Okay, let's see. I wonder if it's made anymore here. Test. Uh, no, it hasn't. Is it? So, what do I need? Which one is the left? Is what? The steam one. The le the left is steam, and the right is water. Okay, steam. And then the steam is going to be sending, and the water is going to be receiving. Because you supply these with steam, but they give you water as a, uh, in return as the steam cools down. And, oh yeah, the reason we need the third coolant port is because we actually need to supply it with an initial batch of water. Um, so let's... let's uh, Ew, what the bones? Let's get a, a tank here. So thermal expansion, I'm gonna grab a resonant tank and then I think no 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 actually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Is steam a fluid? Yeah, right? Uh yeah, steam's a fluid. What else would it be? I don't know. Um I'm going to grab a portable tank here let me see so black red black I, I thought we made one uh, let's see portable tank or I mean ender tank ender tank ender tank ender tank I think we have one in here actually yep okay so black red black so I'm gonna grab two uh, two ink one rose red do we not have something that sends water uh, no we don't Okay. That's why I said you make a water and steam. Okay, well, I got the ender tank here. Now let's grab a, uh, a fluid duct. Uh, thermal expansion, I will grab a single fluid duct. And then we are going to prime this guy. So uh, all these should supply enough water. We just have to have to give like the initial amount of water. Um, so I'm going to put a fluid duct right. Oh. Uh, disconnect this guy and throw this like that and it should start pouring water down and then if we look inside of here yep so um, so this reactor is now turned from a uh, passively cooled to a actively cooled so okay. uh, now it it is uh, it's it has water and stuff so you have the test rack set right yeah the steam is set to uh, sending fluid steam, and this is receiving fluid water. Okay, awesome. So now right here, uh, do you have two more test racks? Mm -hmm. Okay, place a test rack on the red and on the blue. The, the red is going to be sending, or the blue is going to be sending water back up here. So okay. just water send. And then the right one here is going to be receiving steam. Oops. Oh, I'm getting some laggy lag. There we go. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on, you can do it. And actually what I want to do just to give the do a thing here. I think I'm gonna thermal expansion. Do we have any extra yes we do resonant energy cells. Cool. I'm just gonna throw a couple resonant energy cells on each of these just so they have a little energy buffer. 
then I'm going to set the, so this one's already completely full, so reset this, set the black back to blue, the front to orange, back to blue, front to orange, awesome. And then we're going to do, actually maybe we should set, the, hmm. yeah, we'll do the, actually we'll do the bottom, orange, orange, okay. Cool, okay, so do you get that set? Uh, this is uh, uh, receiving fluid steam. This is uh, sending fluid water. Awesome. Good job. Um, I'm so proud yeah. of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pet you. I'm going to rub your belly. I'm going to rub your belly. Oh, sorry. sorry. Um, you're not a dog. Hey, look. Come over here. Hmm? Hmm? Come over here. Hmm? Hmm? Come here. What? Look at the pig. Oh yeah, I see. Him. I see. I know. I've noticed that. He just he no. Just, look at him. He's I, he, he's not here though. He keeps falling through. He's actually no. I, huh? Look at him though. Let me look at him. He looks normal his, to me. His name says Pizza Pie. Oh, not to me. It just says Pig. Really? Yeah, because he's not actually in the base. He's like up above the base or something. So yeah. I don't oh think well, he, he says Pizza Pie to me now. Oh. I named him with a name tag for you. Oh, that would explain why I still have the name tag. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, okay, so now this is the, really the most complicated. So the reason we use test racks is because they can send and receive any amount of fluid. And mm -hmm. so they're automatically going to regulate the amount we need. So if we use something like extra cells, we're going to have mm -hmm. to tell it a specific amount to send to this, right? Okay, so less work. So so less work. This just uh, this just takes whatever it needs automatically with test racks, and that's the mm -hmm. part we didn't really get before. We were trying extra cells; it didn't really work. Um, and then did we did you grab the other test racks? Uh, no, I don't have them. Oh, then it hasn't made any. Oh, I think it's kind of broken right now. Okay, so the way you calculate this is um, each blade mm -hmm. requires twenty five millibuckets of steam. Okay. So six. So we have sixty-four blades. So sixty-four times twenty-five is sixteen hundred millibuckets. So I'm gonna shift. Uh, can I control click this? Yeah, there we go. Uh, oh, oh. There we go. So sixteen hundred millibuckets. Team, that's going to be perfect. Um, as soon as we start, let's activate turbine here. Um, is it? Oh, oh wait. I'm not. I'm not gonna activate. We actually need to activate this top one first. I forgot about that. Um, so we're going to activate this guy, activate reactor. Um, it's producing steam, I think. And then what we're going to do is turn this guy on. And it has steam and it's going it to, goes. yeah, it's going to slowly start to turn. So this, this, uh, this is a slow turning, uh, turbine. This is not a fast turbine turbine. So we should expect to see around 900 RPMs maybe, or maybe I'm thinking of another one. Maybe this one goes up to 1900 RPMs. I can't mm. remember. Yeah. I'm thinking of another one. I think this one actually goes up to 1900 RPMs. So this is going to start slowly building up and now, right now it's, it's producing 4,000 RF a tick. Look at that. Mm. And look, if you look at this, so if you you see the little rotor uh, symbol, and it's, yes. you highlight over it says rotor efficiency. It says a hundred percent efficiency because we're using sixty four out of sixty four blades. That's because we calculated our max flow because each blade mm. requires twenty four megabucket uh, stick. So yeah, I've been, right. I've, I've been I've been learning some stuff, man. Yeah, you learn you learn things and stuff. Yeah. So this is going to take a while to speed up, but right now we're actually producing. 8,000 RF tick. If you look in here, this guy, oh, we need to turn this guy up. Turn this guy up. Uh, you see, this is now filling up extremely oh, yeah. fast. fast. Yes. Um, and then, okay, so we'll actually have to connect this to our main line. Oh, wow, it's already got 7 million, or no. Oh, I can't, it's going too fast. Yeah, 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 9 million. 9 million RF in like 10 seconds. Yep. So, and it's not even done. Look at it. Look, right click on the turbine. T a 13,000 RF a tick. 13,000 RF a tick. Damn. Um, so what I think we're going to do is I think we're going to pause it one more time. Uh, we're going to build these other reactors. Then we're going to let the, the turbines kind of, uh, you know, wind up. And then we're going to see what our final output is. Sounds good to me. Yeah, we'll be back here in a second, guys. Okay, guys, we are back for the finale of the turbines. Uh, and we have pizza pie here. Yeah, which he, is nice. He showed up, I guess. Yeah, 
<laughs> he's um, no longer a ghost. So it took us a while to get these set up. We got really frustrated. Oh, so no, he's going to commit suicide. Oh, my God, you killed him. No, 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 pizza pie. Stop trying to suicide yourself. Aw, you got... You pushed him. Well, now he's forever stuck there. I know. I was trying to actually Save pretend him. that he was killing himself, but pushed him. Oh, God, why are you killing yourself, pizza? And then he would die. Um, well, then, now he's stuck in there. So. Actually, he's like pizza pie the fourth, really, if you yeah. think about it. Because I killed, like, my first two pizza pies. In my, Did you in kill the first one? Well, the first one... Was it the first one or the second one you were tricked into killing? The I, first one, right? Yeah, yeah, I think the first one. We had pizza pies. The first one was, like, a TNT trap. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. No, 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 no. Mine actually didn't die from the TNT trap. Uh, freaking That's right. Blouse Pig did. did. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, that, it, us doing roleplay on our vanilla server back in the day. You guys can go watch that if you want. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um so... So we have four turbines. Before we look at the numbers and stuff, uh, I thought one of these or two of these could run all four, but I think because these are small seven by sevens, they they can't. They don't produce enough steam. I don't know exactly how much what their max is, but if you come up here and right click on these guys, oh, now he's doing that glitch falling thing again. Yeah, yes. If you come up here and right click on one of these guys, it says uh, it's only using sixteen hundred mil. It's only sending sixteen hundred millibuckets of steam a tick. And we actually have a really low fuel burn-up rate. It's 0 0.065 millibucket stick, which is ridiculously low. Like, yeah. I think, I don't know if one ingot translates to one bucket, but whatever. It, it, I don't know exactly how, much, how many ingots translates to a bucket, but it's still pretty low. Um, yeah, so, so we have, it's using not that much fuel. And it's each of these is producing sixteen hundred millibuckets tick because the test rack is just pulling what it needs. Right. Um, and then we look over here. I think this is the fastest one, isn't it so far? I think it's finally maxed. This guy's finally maxed. So we have nine hundred fifty point nine RPMs. Yep. Yeah, it's been at that for a while. Um, and as you see right here, they perform best in the nine hundred range or eighteen hundred range. These are the green zones here. As long as they're still green, they're still they're still going to be at uh, max efficiency. So each of these turbines at max produce twenty three thousand RF a tick. Nice. Um, and of course, we only have two power outputs, so we're only using twenty thousand. So we actually need to make a third to uh, use the other three thousand. And like I said before, each of these uh, the line can carry a infinite amount of power. So, and that's from the mod the mod creator himself. So uh, I know that to be true. Um, nice. Yeah, so uh, combined, we are producing 80 uh, and 3 times 4, so 12, so 92,000. And then we got 22 left over times 4, so that would be 88. So 92,000 and 88 RF a tick. Dang. That's a huge bitch. Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. Uh, before, with all these max, each of these, let's just say they produced 5,000 apiece. Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, that's still a lot. That's 40,000 RF a tick, but that's half. Yeah. Each of these produce about half of what their equivalent uh turbines use probably. It, it, wow. it and this is this is feed the beast like numbers too. So another mod pack is going to be completely different because they, right. they change how much uh fuel usage there is, how what the power multiplier is, all that kind of stuff. So it's yeah. all going to be different. But the setup will work for any mod pack. It's just going to have a few different numbers and what it uses. Yeah, yeah. Um yeah, so... Do you have a good tip for where they can calculate that, or they just kind of have to... Well, yeah. I mean, how, how did you figure out the numbers? Um, well, the, the what you mean, like the 1600 here? Yeah. Well, I said it before at the beginning. Uh, each blade it uses 25 millibuckets a tick. Right, right. Okay. So, so 64 times 25 is uh, 1600 millibuckets a tick. Yeah. Okay. So you always, you always do the blades times the 25 to get your amount of uh, your flow rate that you want. And then you also got to make sure your reactor here can produce that. And sometimes your reactor can double or triple that. So you can actually hook up, you know, two or three of these turbines onto one. Um, one thing we did notice with the test racks, I don't know if uh, if these were bigger and they produced more, it might have worked. But uh, we do have different steam frequencies. We have steam one, steam two, steam three, and steam four for these. So I want to keep yeah. that in mind. Uh, but yeah, dude, freaking, freaking amazing. I just like watching them. I know they're just so cool, and they're they don't, mesmerizing. I mean, of course, I'm getting kind of bad frames, but they, my frames have not changed. I'm getting like 56 right here. 
Yeah, but my frames have not changed a single bit from a, w even adding these turbines. So the turbines don't lag, even though you would think spinning, you know, they're doing a lot of stuff. They don't lag at all. Yeah. Um, so they're amazing. I like them. Um, if you guys, I think that's a good place to call it. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys enjoyed the amazing turbine episode, then make sure to click the like button. Uh, what was our word? It was, um, uh, I already forgot. Something shaft? No. Um, uh, meat, no, meat, meat. Chat, uh, I, whatever. Oh, oh, the meat, the meat shifter. What was it? What's no. your signature move? Uh, <laughs> oh the yeah, the, the swiv, the meat swiv. Yeah, meat swiv. Yeah. The, se yeah. the secret word is meat swiv. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I forgot about the conversation oh, already. It's been a while. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to click the like button. Uh, let, we set a goal for 250 likes, so that'd be absolutely yep. amazing. We love your all's faces, and uh, make sure to check out German, and we'll see you guys next time. See you guys next time.